With ADX Studio Portal's entity lists, you can link to the full details of any entity in your CRM. In this video, I'll show you how to enable and configure self-service record editing. You can use this to reveal additional details about records that don't appear on the grid view, and to allow for record edit and create actions, essential for delivering self-service web applications. Entity lists can link to and render a details view for individual records in a list. This view is provided by a web page, which in our example will be an edit form for the contact record. This allows individual records in the list to be viewed and edited just like within Dynamics CRM. So here you can see that I've got my list of contacts on the portal, um, but that presently it is read-only. I can't click into these rows to view further details about the individual records. So I can remedy that by using a details view. In order to do this, I need to associate my entity list record in the CRM with a web page. Now this web page can be something that's been custom developed, a custom ASBX page, um, but it also works great with our out-of-the-box entity form feature. For more information on that feature, uh, you can check out the appropriate training videos. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select a web page that I have pre-configured for today. I'm gonna scroll down here and choose look up more records. And I'm going to select my edit contact web page. This is a web page that has a pre-configured um, entity form for editing a contact. So I'll just choose add. And now what's going to happen is that I'll be able to click on the individual rows on my entity list on the portal. And I'll be redirected to this uh, web page and with the record ID uh, for the record that I clicked on being passed along in the query string. You can see here that I can specify the query string parameter name as well. So I'm just gonna make sure that those changes have been saved and I will refresh my portal. So you can see that not only has the primary field for each record been linked, but that also that there's a little view details button that's appeared over here on the right hand side. And regardless of which one I click on, the behavior will be the same. I'm going to be taken to my edit contact page. So if I click on Cat Francis, for example, you can see that I've been taken to the edit contact form. And note that the ID of the Cat Francis contact record was appended on to the query string. So I'm just going to make a, a little adjustment here. I'm just going to set the email address to uh, somewhat underscore cat at example.com and I'll submit that record. And now you can see that the Cat Francis contact has had uh, her email adjusted, someone underscore cat at example.com. So I now have full edit capability on my grid. Now let's add a create new button, allowing for the creation of a new record in the CRM and on the portal. Okay, so now that we've added edit to our list on the portal, we might want a convenient way to add a new record right through this interface. So in order to add a create functionality to this entity list, we need only associate it to a web page for create. So just as we could associate a web page for details view to our entity list, we can also select a web page to provide create functionality. Um, and once again, in this case, we're going to use an entity form to provide this functionality for our portal. So I'm just going to use the magnifying glass here and choose look up more records. And I'm going to select a web page that's been pre-configured with a create entity form on it. So I'm going to choose the create contact form and click add. Now I just need to set a create button label. I'm simply going to choose create as my label. Make sure that those changes have been saved and refresh my portal. Great, as you can see, a create button has been added to my entity list. And if I click on it, I'm taken to a create contact entity form. Let's go ahead and create a new contact. awest at example.com as the email. And that'll, that'll be enough. We'll leave the rest of the fields blank for now click Submit, and you can see that I've added a new 
Adam West contact to my contact list. So now you've seen how easy it is to enable Entity List Details Views for self-service record editing and creation. For more tutorials on the Entity List feature, visit our Learning Center at community.adxstudio.com. <laughs>